Welcome to today's race. Your commentary team today will be myself, Murray Walker, and ex-Jordan driver, Martin Brundle. You're right there, Murray. The first race of the season is a nail-biting time for the whole team. The mechanics and staff at the trackside and all the supporting people behind the scenes. Everyone will be waiting to find out whether their hard work has paid off. The drivers are getting ready for the start. They're lined up on the grid. The lights are out and it's go, go, go. Go, Suzuka is go. And the Italian Grand Prix is underway. Straight down towards turn one they come. That was a superb start. He's just hit Verstappen. He's hit the Canadian. This young man really is a superlative driver. That time means things are looking very good for him in tomorrow's race. Something went wrong, he's all over the place. And Verstappen has passed him. Remarkable! Was that a bit of argy-bargy there, Martin? That's the Canadian. He's off the track. What'll be going through the driver's head here, Martin? Uh... And Schumacher's passed him. Oh, dear! Oh, dear! Can anyone beat this man? I've said it so many times before, Martin, but I'll say it again. Catching is one thing, passing is quite another. The gravel trap has claimed a victim. There's a real tussle going on between these two. A bit of dodgem cars going on out on the track today. Take us through the sequence of corners, Martin. Up to the left-hander. Up to the right-hander. Sorry to interrupt you, Martin. It's Verstappen! I cannot believe this. He's actually driving the wrong way round the circuit. Oh, my word! That is a head-on crash! Sensational! Oh, no! Pedal to the metal, flat out! Just a touch of the barrier, that shouldn't slow him down. What is he doing? In all my years of commentating on Formula One, I've never seen anything like it. The pit lane crew did their job superbly for a super fast stop. Martin, that looked as if he just rubbed the wall there. You're right there, Murray. As unlikely as it sounds, with today's electronic speed limiters, it looks as if he has exceeded the maximum speed in the pits. One of the McLarens looks like it's retired. And there is the chicken flag. The Tifosi will be absolutely ecstatic with this result for Ferrari. The crowd here will be absolutely elated by this victory for the young Canadian. The Japanese crowd will be euphoric to see their countrymen standing on the top step of the winner's podium. 